Hello, Richard here from OneSite Solutions. Uh, welcome to this first in a series of uh, videos we're going to be creating uh, to assist you um, and give you the heads up before you come along for your N4 training, which is a week's long tra training, but you get certified at the end of it. Uh, it's also a good tool to have um, after you've done the training. So when you've, if you've gone away and you can't remember how to do something, it might help you with that. So um, the first one we're going to do is uh, creating a station, which is a, a nice quick one to start with. Uh, but it will be the first thing you need to do as well. So um, to do it, you just go to the toolbar, click on tools, and then you get and half, you know just a, more than halfway down, you've got new station. So you click on there, give your station a name, and then choose which template you want to use. So you have a, a down the bottom a supervisor station for Windows, a super site, supervisor station for Linux, and then, then uh, this is new with N4.7, uh, JS provisioning station. Um, and then you have a new controller station. So this is the one I'm going to choose. So you need to know uh, before you even create a station what you're going to, you know, where you're going to be using it. Uh, next thing is asking me to change the admin password. Okay, so you've got to type that in twice. Um, so that you do that even before you've created a station. Um, so it's a security feature. Um, and now uh, the Woods is now asking me what I want to do next. So do I want to open it in my user home? So that's asking me, do I want to open it up here in my in my list of stations and have a look at it there? Uh, or do I want to copy it using secure platform to for local hosts with station copier? Or do I want to close the wizard? So I'm going to use this second option. I'm going to open it up in my local host. Um, so now it's asking me for my platform username and password. So I've, I've ticked my button here, which will help, help me remember it. So I don't have to keep entering it. So in the background here, you've got the station copier. Um, so this is the, the one I've just created and it's going to copy it across here the, to this side, which is my uh, local host. Uh, this is asking me now, do I want to start it after I've installed it? Yes. Um, and do I want it to auto start? I'm going to select no there because I could have a list of, uh, stations in my local host and I don't want them all to start at the same time so um, I'm going to just select from the list which ones I want to start. If it was a JSON or a supervisor you'd definitely uh, click on that so after a power failure it would always start. Okay so now I can click on finish. Uh, so now it's uh, saying um, there's a good chance you want to go to the application director which is one of the platform options um, to go and check to see what your station is doing so I'm going to Go along with that and say yes. So now my station is starting. You can see in this kind of debug area now what's going on. Um, so at the top, it's got my station. So if I did have more stations in here, there'd be a, there could be a list of them. Um, it's what kind of station? It's a station, not a controller station. Uh, it, this is the area I'm really looking at now to see when my uh, station is is running, and when it is running, it will run on. Uh, either Fox or Fox S or a combination of both. When you first create a station, it will run on Fox S, which is uh, port 4911. Um, so this is my auto start and my start and ref uh, on failure, which I can, uh, so if I did want this to auto start, I could um, click on it here. So that should nearly be there now, and we should see this come up saying it's running now on Fox S. Once it, once it has come up and said it's running on Fox S, I can then open my station. Okay, so there we go. It's now saying running on Fox S. So now I can uh, right click on my host and open my station. So this is my, remember this is my uh, local host station. And I can now select uh, what kind of connection it is. So we know it's a, a secure connection. So I need to click the one with the padlock which is the uh, TLS connection. Uh, and there you go, there's a port number 4911. So, okay. Uh, and then we need to enter the password that we just uh, changed for the admin user. So I, again, I've, uh, I've, I've clicked this button and because uh, I've already saved mine. And there you go, that's the station running. So, um, uh, so now uh, if we go and have a look in my uh, file system under my user home and then go to stations, that that's my... Um, my station in my in my file system there and I could open it here and have a look um, but what again the other important thing to uh, to manage is uh, if I go to my platform 
station copier is uh, you, you'll see now I've got the same um, station on my file system, which is here, the one I just showed you, and this is my local host. So um, it's really important now to uh, manage this. So it's all about good housekeeping now. So uh, what, what I normally do is just keep one version of it. Uh, so I would normally delete this one after I've just created one because it's not going to have anything in, in it anyway. Um, and then this is the one I'm going to work on. Eventually, I'm going to do all the work on it and copy it back to the left-hand side. And then I would delete it here from my, from my local host. So I've always got one version of it. You can rename them. Uh, so it's up to you how you do the housekeeping on there. Okay, so that's it really for this first video. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, um, please like and subscribe at the bottom. And uh, please go and visit our website, onesite.solutions, where we have plenty of good uh, product solutions as well as some classroom training uh, you can go and have a look at. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time.